One of the key principles that we teach the students at the LLM in Deusto is the attribution of powers, which means that the European Union shall act within the powers previously conferred by the member states. If we think about the area of freedom, security and justice, which covers border management, asylum and migration matters, these competences are shared between the Union and the states. And why is that? Basically, because we are talking about sensitive competences and political matters, which might touch upon fundamental rights of the individuals and also the core sovereign powers of the states. Something that we also teach in the LLM in the module of Migration, Asylum and Refugee Law is the consequences of the so-called refugee crisis of 2015-2016. We learned several things in this crisis. Firstly, that the European Union is facing a solidarity crisis. It needs to promote the cooperation between the European Union and the states. Secondly, that we are moving towards a securitization of the borders, towards more controls before the migrants reach the source of the European Union. Thirdly, that we still face some deficiencies, like in the asylum system or in the reception system of the Union. And fourthly, that we are moving towards externalization. That means that we are signing, for instance, deals with Turkey in order to manage migration. But we also analyze future trends or trends that are still emerging. Like for instance, the shared enforcement and implementation that we are seeing of border management, migration and asylum matters. And why is this? The European Union wants that the measures, the political and legal measures that are adopted at the Union level are effectively and uniformly implemented by the Member States. And one way of achieving this is by conferring, reinforcing the operational tasks that the agencies of the European Union, like Frontex, EASO and Europol, are deploying on the ground and also their cooperation in what they referred as the hotspots.